Welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principle. I'm your host Shaheen and in today's video we are going to discuss quite a lot. We are going to discuss gold, silver and we'll look at a couple of miners as well that includes Newmont which is a major and we'll look at a minor, um, a junior one as well, not a minor, a, a junior uh, miner as well. And after that we'll go in the forex section. In forex section we'll look at euro and a British pound and then we'll also look at uh, gold uh, sorry us dollar in index as well which is dxy and after that we'll look at s p 500 uh, we have quite a bit to discuss we have seen the drop that we have seen uh, that i forecasted on weekend however there is a uh, possibility that we might have seen the completion of pattern earlier than we are thinking and we'll look into it before i can go into gold and silver i think uh, or actually let's start from gold and silver silver okay I'm going to go on uh, my internet is a bit slow so you guys can see a bit of delay in the uh, in the chart display so let me have a look and uh, go on uh, I would say four hourly time frame okay and then we'll go on over here so we can actually see the chart properly now we were expecting that the, uh, the price is expected to come down in this level which also it has already done so and then we can see that this also be a, a previous top as well all right so this is pretty interesting now there are a couple possibilities i was expecting for the pattern to come down go over and then come down over here again however there is a possibility that what if the correction is complete actually we need to go on hourly time frame and what if this is the only correction that we are going to get all right if you look at the previous structure we can see that the corrections completed a very small time this one or that one so it took very small amount of time to complete and so we have seen almost like a similar amount of time so there's a possibility one of the alternate account is that the correction is already complete if the correction is already complete in that case we are looking uh, for a very sharp move upward because if you look at this price movement we have a smaller correction and then we have a larger move and then we have a correction in terms of time at least it's the same correction just a bit larger in terms of depth but if you look at the in terms of percentage it's almost kind of the same if you look at the percentage then we can go in over here and we can simply look over here that is two by eight right is right now a two by eight section we can also uh, do the same thing and i think so we can uh, see the correction as well of a similar degree so we can see right over here this is also two by eight not surprising so there's a possibility that we have actually uh, completed the pattern over here we are not going to come sideways over here in that case we are to see a stronger move uh, of a similar strength right over here maybe even stronger than this strength over here here we had price moved from 2024 to all the way over to 2200 so almost like 180 dollars so there's a possibility that we can actually move further down in terms of a five wave price section if you look at it there's a clear guideline and that sometimes the wave length of wave five is equivalent to the wavelength from one to three in this regard we have 1983 which is 19, uh, 1984 bottom and then we have a top made at 2200 so almost 100 uh, 220 dollars if that is the case from this bottom on going on which is 2150 we are looking at 2370 uh, and 2400 would be a round figure for uh, the price of gold to go in amount of very short period of time and that will actually confirm once again that we are into a bullish market so uh, there is a possibility that's the reason i made today's forecast and uh, that we can uh, we got we'll keep in in mind that there's a possibility that this correction is complete and we'll wait for the price action to confirm it and then we're looking for uh, the price to go somewhere around around 2380 to 2400 we'll also keep a close eye on the um, price action as well and this is going to stay around we will say an important bottom is expected around end of august we'll keep it in a year and we'll see where the bottom is going to expect all right uh, right now there are a couple of uh, zigzags there is uh, i'm clearly seeing this pull back so a strong move is expected and then we'll see what how prices act after that and i'll definitely keep it around uh, as a guideline in case we don't forget there is going to be a sharp delay uh, i mean sharp sharp drop in the prices uh, and that's the reason i'm keeping it around uh, let's have a look at silver now silver has gone very interesting and i'm thinking there is a possibility and that when we were discussing let me delete this one of your one so when you're discussing the in terms of a pullback and then we see that there's a possibility we actually have seen a bottom over here or a long time bottom is over here there's a possibility and if this is a correction in this case our correction ends over here you are expecting uh, for a uh, leading diagonal right 
I clearly said that from this top, we are probably seeing a leading diagonal with the truncated wave uh, right over here. So if this is the bullish move and this is a corrective move, we can clearly see. And this is another impulse move. And then we have a correction, another impulse move and a correction over here. And that means that the pattern is complete right over here. So we have kind of one and two, another wave three kind of you can say and a pullback as well. So this is also giving us a possibility. We are seeing higher high uh, right over here and low and a higher low and this and a higher as well. So there's a possibility that if the bottom is if the structure is complete on a smaller amount of time we can actually fly upward so we'll have to look at the pattern over here now if some of you guys are going to get confused because it kind of seems like a continuation video you have to look at my previous videos to see a full analysis of where i'm talking about so look at this, we have a wave going up and a correction and then we have a wave going up and a correction. There's a possibility that the correction is actually complete right over here. In this case, this should absolutely take the prices all the way uh, somewhere around 28 ish dollars. So this is a possibility. The reason I'm saying is that I'm seeing kind of uh, patterns which actually indicate in the Forex market as well that there's a possibility that we are actually seeing the corrections happening earlier. All right. So either the price is going to go up and down side over over here because we have reached the price target and we can see there was a lot of hesitance yesterday for completing the price target and uh, we have completed the target right over here in that case either the price is going to go sideways or either it's already complete and it should shoot up a similar commentary goes on for gold it seems that we have completed the side the price target and then either we are going to go sideways or that the price is going to shoot up now if you guys are aware of it we discussed new mount price structure and i told you guys that there's a possibility in some of the cases of the ending diagonal pattern which we actually are seeing this is the ending diagonal pattern which we are seeing right over here and in some of the cases of ending diagonal uh, the price actually as soon as the ending diagonal is complete the price is moved such a sharp wave uh, That no one can actually believe that this happened something like this is a possibility or uh, Imagine gold going around somewhere around three to four. Let's say three hundred dollars or two hundred and fifty ish dollar in a matter of couple of weeks in that case that would actually bring a lot of buyer to gold miners as well gold and silver miners so we got to keep in mind that this is also intact in line with our analysis there's the possibility that the correction is complete so i am a buyer on a, i'm already told you guys that i'm bullish on newmont and i'm buyer uh, i've already bought this share in newmont and i'll so i'm expecting that this is could be a possibility there's another possibility that we can have is that we can actually take a lot of time to complete a 5f structure so this is the bottom we're going to go up come down go up and come down and go up find over here and the correction right so either i think that good new one has actually reached a very good solid buying point and in case you haven't seen the previous structure we can um, the previous analysis we were saying that okay look at the side wave behavior that we have seen quite a bit uh, back and from over here 2015 we are at a very nice level if you compare the price of new moon to on uh, the price back in 2015 we are at a very very nice level so it's kind of very close to the lower end of the um, the range and it also kind of finds support at this end as well so i do believe that we have completed kind of five wave structure and we are sitting right at the bottom of wave two so it's a very good uh, trade i think to go long in newmont i'm personally long on newmont then you look at this uh, junior miner that we have and this is Osisco. Now the reason I've invested in Osisco and I've selected uh, this as a junior investment is because this has been a while for almost like two, you know, it's has been around from 2013. So it's not a company that can go bankrupt uh, because some of the new miners, uh, junior miners can go bankrupt, especially the new ones. And you, we may lose all of the money in there. That's the reason. And plus it has spent a lot of it has taken the you can see that it has dropped quite a bit. So this is the I'm t considering it that and uh, the over um, you know the kind of capture a lot of buyers. It is probably, probably the result of the advertisement scheme that the price of uh, Osisco share was somewhere around thirty eight dollar. And as soon as uh, the market opened, then we can see that harsh selling came. The insider selling came over here and then we can see that. Um, on a neutral point, we have about 584 
uh, as a buying as a neutral point for Cisco and then we can see right now we are at 270 and given the amount of side wave structure I believe we said a good buying point right now so I'm bullish on Cisco as well uh, and if with gold and gold uh, silver and gold gold and silver and gold miners uh, we'll have a look at forex market and see what is the uh, possibility I've looked at uh, Joro and uh, I was interested in saying there's a possibility. I already told you guys that if you're looking right now at our bottom right over here at Joro and we have clearly seen a 5F structure at the completion and we are also decided that the larger degree correction is complete. Let me go ahead on a daily time frame and so this is the structure. I believe that we have found a bottom right over here already for the almost like 8 to 10 years of uh, cycle. And then we have completed a 5 wave structure. I've also completed that. believe that we have completed this wave 2 right over here. And we were going in in the in the consideration that this is wave 1 is complete, sub wave 1. And then we are going to see wave A, B, C. Uh, well, it is very clear that we are actually looking at into ABC structure. We have kind of uh, seen uh, this bottom completing and we are looking at it right now. But there's also possibility. Could this be a possibility that we have actually seen wave A and wave B and wave C? Um, because although we have seen pullback that I forecasted on uh, on Friday, uh, things are a possibility that we are actually this is a correction that we were looking for. All right. So if you look at the bounce, then right over here, the prices came down, and especially we have seen bounce today. If the prices go beyond a bottom over here, that will actually confirm that we have seen a bottom over here, and then we can easily go wave one and two and sub wave one and sub wave two as well. So a uh, very interesting point. Uh, we'll have to we kind of use some of the um, uh, pattern recognition right over here. We can see that uh, if this is the top, if this is the five. This is eight equal division up to over here. We have completed one, two, three, and four. So 50 degree is already 50 percent of the drop. Uh, the previous range is already complete. So we have found a support. In case we use this as a top, in that case we can also see that we have actually completed five by eight of the whole range, starting from this bottom to the top. We have one, two, three, four, and five. So keep in mind that if you want to go long, uh, keep your stop loss not beyond low right over here. All right in case the structure is not complete this structure is not the structure all right in case we are looking for this structure and correction and another structure right over here so do not put your stop loss below this point and i think today's price action is agreeing what i'm thinking is that we have probably completed the wave two over here and this is sub wave one and sub wave two and continual if this is the case we are into a very nice uh, price movement and I, if you look at us dollar and we can see that us dollar itself which is dxy chart uh, is behaving that way all right let's have a look on a daily time frame chart and uh, the chart of british pound euro and um, dxy are kind of similar so we are looking at as a regular we are seeing that 114.67 was uh, the high and we have expected that uh, go sorry uh, dxy us dollar has completed almost like eight to ten year cycle over here and we are right now clearly seeing a 5 wave structure right over here this is the red label right here and i believe that this completes the green wave one and this creeps uh, completes the wave two this is we are clear about the only concern that we were having is that this is sub wave one and there's a possibility that we are going to see this structure to complete sub wave two but now i think that we can bring the trend line as well maybe that's going to help us uh, to see if we are finding the support along the same line so we are finding the support along the same line however i'm not really a big fan of the trend line itself so we can also look uh, we can delete the trend line on its own uh, wd gan angle is a different thing i am a very fan good fan of wd gan angle which is a completely different thing you have to have a mathematical points to see uh, what is going on so we can simply draw uh, the top to bottom range and divide the range into eight equal sections we have two um, two bottoms to carry it on we have we one sorry eight division one two three four and five once again this is five by eight and then prices have moved sharply down in case we are using this as a top and this is an a b and c structure um, in that case we can also bring that over here and we can see that we have also kind of completed a 50 percent first one two and three thirty seven point five out of hundred and then which is we have completed almost like fifty percent of the drop so either case we can which is nice combination if you look at it this top and this top and which is is a very good um it makes kind of a sequence right so 
there's a possibility that we have completing the correction uh, in wave two, and I think we should use that as a um, as a valid point uh, because we were expecting that the pattern is not going uh, is not complete. But now I'm thinking there's a possibility the pattern could be actually complete. So keep that in mind, uh, and then I will also look at British pound. So British pound has uh, dropped uh, quite a bit. We have seen it, but if you look at it, and what that's the thing, the British pound actually got me worried. If you look at the structure, and if you say that okay, this is wave A, this is how we were going. We say okay, this is wave A, and we are expecting this is wave B. And I looked at the price and the structure, and it did not look like an Elliott wave structure. And I'm like, something is wrong, something is wrong, something. And then I realized, could that be a possibility that actually the structure actually started over here, wave A, wave B, and wave C? And that got me thinking, if this is the structure that is complete of a larger degree of the wave that started from over here. And could there be possibility that we are doing a wrong labeling as well? And that's got me thinking. And that's how I, uh, today's analysis comes in. So uh, first of all, uh, let me show you guys our, uh, the daily time frame chart. And you'll get an idea what I'm talking about of the larger sphere. So this is clearly wave 1 and 2, 3 and 4 and 5. Our larger wave 1 over here is complete. And we have completed wave 2 of a larger degree. Right now we have completed a sub wave 1 and uh, over here. First we were thinking it's over here. But now I'm thinking there's more chance that it's completed over here. Because look at the price. It moved sharply up. And it's, you know this is giving an indication just you know A, B and C. Uh, so I think uh, British pound is moving upward and that's how our analysis is especially it's moving upward from this section the only concern was the smaller degree correction and now you can clearly see it has broken this thing right over here the structure over here so I think let's have a do quick one two three four five we can clearly see the structure started from over here this is wave one and this is our wave two and then we can say wave three four and five okay I'm just putting on the side and then we'll use them labels in the future. And then we also could use a smaller degree, which is complete start of the wave over here. We can say this is wave one and this is wave two. And then we are looking for further movement three, four and five. So this is of different degree. We need to go in settings and this is. Uh, so this is expected to be, let's make it intermediate. And then we can change the color right over here too. All right. So this um, brings in a lot of uh, clearness to our um, structure that you're looking for. And I wanted to update it because we have hardly done two days of trading and today is the third day of trading. So it means by, by the time the week is over, we might be moving further up. All right. Let's have a look. This completes the analysis. So I am kind of giving you guys, and I'm bullish on it more. I'll take my chances with the bullish uh, British pound and euro and uh, bearish uh, US dollar. And I'm bullish on gold and silver and uh, miners as well this week. All right. So the structure that we believe, I think that the structure that we we're looking for ABC, I think that actually completed over here. All right. So let's have a look at uh, the stock market. And then probably I haven't done the crypto. Uh, analysis separately but we can look at the structure definitely into it okay just as a bonus we can first go into stocks uh, look at S&P 500 so even if you are um, new to analysis you can clearly tell that the market has been really struggling a lot of overlaps is happening all right so let's have a look at um, a daily time frame structure so you get some idea what I'm thinking over here so the larger pattern that I'm thinking right over here is in front of you um, started from back in 2021 January we are expecting that prices we see the prices come down and right now I believe you're completing from a three wave structure so we have a three wave structure right over here and a three wave structure right over here which makes this either a B or with the W and X and after that structure is concerned we are going to come down what structure will we'll look at at the market later so then as soon as um, we have some movement left in gold as well so I think when gold will go bullish as and people go bearish all right it's not a rocket sign most of the time it happens but I'm showing you the larger structure the structure that I'm seeing from the bottom is clearly wave A and wave B and one two three four and five so right now we are at the very top of wave three. So I'm expecting that we are going to go come down and complete wave four. 
all right and that's where we are right now we are kind of very close to the completion of wave three wave within wave three we are kind of seeing an ending diagonal pattern and that's why these uh, lines are from over here either not ending diagonal but a clear five wave structure all right so we can clearly see that we have wave one and two uh, and I think we have completed wave 3 and 4 right over here uh, and then we are going to on into wave 5 actually wave 3 seems to be completed over here so we have seen a lot of overlapping over here and there's a lot of struggle going on uh, so you can see clearly that we have used this channel to indicate when the top has happened when the prices drop below this channel clearly with a high volume that would actually indicate the top of wave 3 now all the individual stocks uh, they are running through different structures they are not simply exactly following s p 500 and for that reason i was telling you guys about tesla we are waiting for tesla to make a very nice trading setup the trading setup is yet away from completion but we'll keep an eye open on for tesla okay let's go have a look at uh, for the chart from So I am looking for Tesla to complete uh, the structure. All right, I do believe that Tesla on a um, on a larger time frame is bearish, um, and so I'm kind of thinking that we have completed the W already, or wave A already, starting from that top right over here. And while S&P is completing wave B or wave X, I think the similar case goes uh, for Tesla, only the structure is completely different. The uh, uh, timeline is completely different, which makes the look, chart looks different. But if you look at uh, in terms of a structure, uh, Elliott wave structure, then you can clearly see that the first part of the structure is complete and the second part of the structure uh, is going on within that way we can see a zigzag and this structure is really messy i'm expecting for the prices to come down when the prices come down around some let's say a hundred dollar at this point i would be bullish and i am expecting one of the possibilities that we are going to we have already discussed in newmont that there is a prob high probability that when it makes a double bottom and then we have also wave four that we have seen in s p 500 completing Okay, so we have wave 4 completing right over here and then in the meantime Tesla completes a bottom, a double bottom. That will be, uh, that will make Tesla move like a rocket, really. And in that, in that scenario, when last wave is left, there will be a huge room for us, for Tesla to move. And that's why I think we have uh, I have drawn this I'm keeping an eye open and I think there'll be very very nice trading setup but right now I'm not trading this on the bearish side it's very messy and I just want to see the price level okay so this gives us S&P and 500 is completion and Tesla is complete so let's have a look for uh, in crypto just for uh, for sake of fun okay let me do I haven't done the analysis uh, of crypto separately so you might see some lines that just don't uh, I have not touched crypto in a bit but since Bitcoin has been moving higher and higher so <coughs> let's have a look um, what's actually happening and we'll uh, look at it in line with the with the stock market okay all right now all of a sudden since we have uh, let me draw this we have clearly ABC structure, which is measured, but we do not have. All right, now it has started to make sense. Okay, I can see now. So, this structure that we are looking into hasn't happened in, in crypto, all right? Unless crypto can go uh, like a rocket from over here okay so i believe that we are going a similar structure starting from over here um that we have completed uh, uh, i think right from over here we have completed a b and c or the pattern over is completed over here so we have seen a first leg of the correction and then i believe we are in the second leg of correction don't worry i'll i label it and uh, we are in the process of completion of the second leg of um Bitcoin and I believe that we are going to see pattern uh, completion on a larger degree as this 
So we have this pattern completion, first wave. We are going to go second wave, and then we are going to go third wave. All right. Now it's very understandable that when uh, S&P 500 is down and when Bitcoin is down and gold is at the top, because we are we are looking uh, starting off a smaller degree bullish market in gold, right? So that is something that there is this is going to be worrying for a lot of weaker cryptos to jump from over here okay and uh, let's delete this structure and if you want to see what's happening um, this is how I'm labeling it okay very easy and the, the pattern just popped on me straight away so we have start of wave C zero this is the start of wave C wave one and two wave three going on and we are expecting a pullback straight away of wave four and then wave five as far as price levels is concerned, we have we can definitely do that. So this will make wave A, wave B, and wave C complete. Okay, let's have a look on our price level. We can go on four hourly time frame chart, and I'm already seeing some very nice patterns. And we'll see how much in terms of percentage it has dropped. Okay, let's see if uh, let me do something. So three by eight, or let's divide it into nine sections, and this is much better. So you can see that instead of a square division, we have a triangular division. So this means we have to do it into nine sections. The range is divisible divisible in nine sections, and you can see we have come out of four sections. The correction completes, and and could this be a problem that we have this one going on? So in this case, we can use this over here. And we can also use that in case the first drop at uh, came at two by nine. No, let me have a look. In case we are wrong. So once again, these are nine divisions starting from over here. The first drop came at two by nine, and the second drop came just above three by nine. And we also need to look at the extension, that how far the extension was. So extension is also two by nine. This extension wave wave B. So right now you can say that okay this is our wave one and this is our wave two by looking at the how the price has behaved and this is our a sorry wave a and this is our wave b and this is our wave c so an expanded flat half okay now we can also look that the previous drop was three by nine or one by three okay so we need to have a look how much further the price happened from the bottom wherever the top is so wherever the top happens from there we can expect for the prices to drop uh, about similar percentage right let's say the prices expect uh, start dropping from the top this is the top okay let's say in that case we're expecting for the price to drop 62,000 let's say the price goes above a bit then in that case we can also extend it to so you get my point right but we are waiting for this over here. Once the prices drop, we are looking for another push wave. So this is what and we are going to wait for the prices to drop. And if you're uh, trading in crypto, we can definitely go bullish over here. Uh, this is bringing, brings an interesting opportunity in crypto, right? This our analysis in S&P 500 and our analysis in Bitcoin. Uh, we can look at Ethereum. Ethereum has, I think, already done its move. Uh, so there's not much left to it. Because it has almost close, it is almost close to the double top, right? Okay. As I said, these are previous old analysis. Don't look at these labelings. Close your eyes. Now you can open your eyes. So once again, we uh, we are looking for an A and a B, and we have a one and two. Uh, this is wave three. We are looking for the prices to drop. As soon as the drop opens over here, we can wait for the prices to go up over here. We'll be bullish. Okay. That's so simple. I'm looking for a chart which hasn't moved up this thing okay uh, H bar hasn't moved m much as compared with the previous price action you look at the previous price action right so in this case we can see that we have completed wave A and wave B right over here and we have wave 1 and 2 we have 3 and 4 and uh, we should be sitting at the top of previous in that case there is a possibility we can actually see a sharper move wave 5 all right there's a strong possibility let's have a look at xrp 
too messy. That's it with the crypto section. Wish you good luck with your trading. Have a good one and bye-bye.